Um, so this poem is called The Answer. Um, I wrote this as a part of a competition that I was a part of um, and that kind of won. And I was able to have it go to a national competition and it also kind of won too. <laughs> my soul in words, so. <laughs> if faith is the answer, then what do we ask? Is it our task to seek and speak of what we're aspiring for, what we're surviving for? Tell me. Tell me. Because <laughs> I'm done with metaphors. I'm done with the rain, the leaves, and the precipitation. Don't tell me about the moon or any constellations because they're just pretty pictures colored by words. Well, I'm colored by hurt, so tell me, what am I asking for? You tell me to be strong and to pursue more patience, that his love is eternal and altogether gracious. And I mean, that's great. And it's true, I believe it, I do. But if my heart is saved, then why am I complacent? Is this just the mindset of today's generation? The expectations, they're there and I can no longer move. It's like I'm in cement and <coughs> like pavement, I'm too dry to smooth. So where do I go if I'm bound to lose, if I'm already wavering and my heart is bruised? I'm sorry, Lord, that I'm feeling so angered. It's just that I feel that my insides are mangled. In the middle of the night, I feel like no one's in my corner, that I'm a loner in the box where all the clocks are locked, hands are tied in knots, and there's no point in restarting, no point in redeeming or dreaming or believing that tomorrow will be better than the nightmare of today, of right now, of this very moment. So if my faith is the answer, then answer me, Father. I feel like you're farther than you're supposed to be. So help me see. What am I missing? Or is this just a test to see if I'll listen, if I will abide in this mission, in this Christian disposition? On the waves in the, of the ocean, will my faith be tested and rested in Christ? Will my feet rise above the surface? And there, suddenly amidst a great storm, will the Lord achieve his very goal, which was to break me, to shape me, rebuild and create me, a new life, a new plan. And although I'll bear the weight of the hate of the world that surrounds me, at least he loves me. That much I know. So if my faith is the answer, then I won't ask questions. Instead, I'll seek to mention what I already know. And what I know is this, that his word is bliss, that his love is here, it's close, it's near, and we're called to share it. This opportunity is not a window, just a door that's locked. All he's waiting for you to do is knock. Thank you.